Skidmarink from one of the overseas distributors, Acorn Media International, I believe. It's England. It could be Australia. I don't know. Uh, one or the other. But they released this on Blu-ray. Uh, it's also on, on Blu-ray and on DVD here in America um, from the same people like the RLJE Films people. But if you're over there, this is the Acorn Media International version. It says Region B, but it will play in your Region A player. I think it basically has the same special features that the American one had, the commentary with the right writer, director, director of photography, subtitles, audio description. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this, uh, read the plot here, because this, this was a chore for me. And I don't usually go out of my way to diss films, and I know this one's kind of like a movie that has people kind of uh, split down the middle on it, but I kind of hated this. And it's really weird, like, it, it, I know what they're going for, but I kind of didn't know what, like, I had to read theories on the internet to kind of figure this out. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I just don't know, you know, anymore what's going on. I've, I've reached my peak, my prime's over, and I just cannot fathom these higher concept horror films anymore. But this thing, if I hadn't read this plot here, I wouldn't know what the fuck's going on. And pardon my French. But uh, basically, you've got two kids here, and they wake up in the middle of the night, and they find that their father is missing, and all the windows and the doors are gone. That's the gist of it. Uh, when I was watching it, if I hadn't have read that previously, knowing that going into it, I'd have been like, what is going on? Because it's from the point of view of two children, basically. And they're being haunted and tormented by this entity that we never really know what it is. And the movie lasts almost two hours, like an hour and 45 minutes. And half the stuff is like, if this is your main shot, then this is like a hunk of a shot. It's like out here, it's out keltered. You see part of what's on the television. You hear little, very little dialogue that pops in every now and then. Uh, stuff happens, but it happens in like a flash. And there's a few jump scares here and there. But in between that, it's a lot of darkness, a lot of grit. It's very grainy. Um, and you basically have to pay attention. Like my friend Matt told me, uh, Matt Hatfield, told me that it's best to enjoy this movie with the lights off, maybe even have headphones on if you ain't got really good surround sound, and just, you know, just kind of do that real late at night. Maybe, I guess, well, maybe it's raining, it's better, I don't know. But I watched this in the middle of the night, it was very dark, but I did not get the same effect from it that a lot of people seem to. But like I said, it's kind of a love it or hate it thing. And I'm kind of on the side of hating it. But it's a cool concept, I guess. I mean, it's kind of spooky in some way. I've seen everybody at Walmart have their DVDs like this because they didn't know this thing was upside down. Um, nothing real fancy here with the disc or nothing like that. But like I said, it will play in your American players. Uh, it's, I don't know. I've sat through some artsy stuff before. I've sat through some of the, the creme la creme of artsy horror films and artsy films in general. I've sat through... Um, you know, Enter the Void, which I loved Enter the Void. I've set through uh, The Begotten, which I did not like. And this one, to me, is worse than Begotten. And to me, that says a lot, because I thought Begotten was a bunch of artsy crap. And this is kind of on the fence of artsy crap. And I'm sorry. I mean, there's some people might love it. Some people might think it's the greatest thing ever. They might think it's one of the more creative things. And maybe it is creative. Maybe I'll give them credit for being creative. But it doesn't pull me in. It doesn't keep me in. It doesn't make me wonder, you know, in a good way what is going on. Because I have loved artsy stuff, but this one wasn't for me. I give it like, I think I give it a one and a half. And that was probably generous. Probably should have been a one. But one and a half, Shutter Original. It's out in America from RLJE Films. It's out in Australia or the UK. Um, I feel like that's the UK. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry to those guys who uh, sent me this. I'm a little bit lost on which part of the world this came from <laughs> but hey it's all your information is here so yeah acorn media international which is a very cool company that does these uh blu-rays for these shutter movies and sometimes they do some i think releases that maybe even even america didn't do so they got that going for them but skin of my ring not for me maybe it's for you but it is what it is